Welcome to WSTB Clarksville. I'm Richard Wesley, the pastor of the St. Bethlehem United Methodist Church in Clarksville, Tennessee. I'm here with our co-host, Ashley Kettle. Ashley, how you doing? I'm all right. And you? I'm doing well. Thank you. Let's talk about what's taking place um, at St. Bethlehem United Methodist Church this week. First of all, let's talk about the Christmas Eve service. Um, this year, that's going to be Thursday. It's, uh, it's December the 24th this year. At least that's what my calendar says. And so um, Christmas Eve, our Christmas Eve worship, it's a um, uh, nine, le- uh, le- nine lessons and carols is what it's called. I can never get that right. Anymore. I never get, I, I, I struggle with that. I've called it hymns and verses, and, but nine <laughs> lessons and carols um, will premiere on YouTube at 6 p.m. Uh, now, you can also access that through our um, uh, website, th- through the church's website. It'll also be in the weekend e-blast. So that's this Christmas Eve, this Thursday evening at 6 p.m. Uh, let me also, oh, oh, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm just now finishing editing that, and I have placed in that service an intentional slip-up. I'm probably the only person that'll notice it, although mentioning it, somebody else might be aware and catch it, but um, I know I'll catch it because I know where it is. <laughs> I also want to remind you that through the rest of this year, because of the uh, uh, Christmas and New Year's, there will be no Bible studies, no Wednesday evening Zoom room Bible studies until next year, the first Wednesday night of next year, January the 6th. Now, this Sunday, uh, we are looking at a continuation of the story that we began last week. This is Luke's version of the Incarnation. And there's some elements in Luke's story that we find in no other story. You know, Matthew and uh, John, um, you know, tell their their views and their version. uh, But but nowhere else do we get the the story that Luke tells us. So this, um, uh, I'm I'm titling it, The Rest of the Story. So we're going to finish Luke's story of the incarnation. The theme will be living the story of the incarnation. How do we live the incarnation in our regular lives? The uh, hymns in that worship service is what child is this and sing we now of Christmas. So that's what's taking place this week at St. Bethlehem United Methodist Church. Now, Ashley, the time that I look forward to, what do you have for us this week? Well, you know, Christmas is not the same as it was last year. Or We're not going to gather together with, you know, our families, yeah. our big families. Right. But right. Um, so I was thinking of different things that we could do, like Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. Um, of course, you've got the Christmas Eve service mm-hmm. at six o'clock. Right. And, you know, you can after that or even Christmas night, go look at Christmas lights because they're still up. You know, that would be, you know, kind of. If you don't get car sick, I can't do that anymore because I get car sick. <laughs> so, um, there what were some other, oh, the other things were the, um, read both of the incarnation stories, you oh, know? Yes. So not just the Luke, but Matthew. Matthew's also, mm-hmm. yes. Mm-hmm. That was something else that I thought could be, you know, just something different that you may not do every year. And if you do that, great, you know, but kind of add to it and, yeah. I had thought of some other things and I wrote it down somewhere and I don't know where I wrote it. So (laughs) right now, go look at lights and read the Christmas. There there it is. Hey, you know what? I I think, I think that's, I think that's just, that's good. (laughs) That's, that's good advice. Something uh, maybe we can add to our um, observance during this crazy, crazy year. Yes. Um, That'll soon be over. But. That'll soon be over. Although we're starting next year, the worst place that we've been as far as the pandemic is concerned. But I believe by next Christmas, man, I'm hoping by I'm next Christmas to, yes. we should be moving out of that. 
Um, I believe the projections right now for the vaccine are, um, what, sometime in the summer that'll be available to the wide oh. population. We should all be able to, so uh, maybe, maybe by Christmas, this will all be over. Uh, I think the projections are by fall, we should start seeing a pretty good improvement. So, all right, stay safe. Merry Christmas. Yes, and Merry um, Christmas. join us Christmas Eve and Sunday morning. This concludes this week's episode of WSTB Clarksville. Say goodbye, Ashley. Goodbye, Ashley. Mm, goodbye, Ashley. <laughs> See you next time. Ah, yeah, this has just been a crazy year. Yeah. I, I, I think I'm losing it. <laughs> well, I've already lost it. I lost it <laughs> weeks ago. You know that. You know. Well, yeah, I'm not sure I ever had it to lose, but if yeah, I, well, you know, it, me too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>